Welcome back. The news in details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi hailed on Monday the role of the security forces in maintaining stability needed to go ahead with the country's development and reform programs. This came in his address to the nation, marking the 69th Police Day. The President was speaking during the ceremony held by the Interior Ministry to mark the occasion. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi attended on Monday the celebration of the 69th Police Day. Ahead of the celebration, President al-Sisi laid a wreath on the Police Martyrs Memorial and headed a meeting of the Supreme National Security Council. During the ceremony, President al-Sisi addressed the nation. In his speech, the president hailed the role of police in al Ismailiya battle in 1952, saying that it represented the sacrifice of policemen. He said that policemen protected the national dignity. The president said that we are currently in the middle of a battle for development. The president said that with the Egyptian people's support, we managed to move from the phase of maintaining stability to the phase of development. The president said that Egypt is taking steps in its development drive despite the major challenges created by the coronavirus. He noted that for being able to continue with our economic reforms, we need to maintain security and stability. The president pointed that the project to develop the Egyptian villages is expected to be concluded in three years and affect the lives of 55 million Egyptians. He said that there is a big role for the Egyptian industrial sector to play in the project to develop the Egyptian rural areas. During the ceremony, the president honored a number of distinguished policemen. Meanwhile, in his speech, Minister of Interior Mahmoud Taufi expressed gratitude and appreciation to the police force. He said that the concept of comprehensive national security is a pillar for achieving stability and the common national goals. Taufi reiterated that the police will continue sacrificing to preserve Egypt's sovereignty under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. The minister also asserted that the police shall continue to exert their utmost efforts to protect the country's security and stability. He said that security forces are still facing the desperate attempts by the Brotherhood terrorist organization abroad to undermine the security of the nation. The Interior Ministry also presented a number of documentaries showing security forces' efforts in fighting terrorism, especially in North Sinai. The documentaries also reviewed police achievements in the field of facing crimes and combating the smuggling and trading of drugs. The 25th of January 1952 is the day of a historic clash between the Egyptian police forces and the British occupation forces in the Lismaleya battle. It took place when the Egyptian police officers refused to hand over their weapons and evacuate the Ismailia governorate's building. The incident left 50 martyrs and 80 injured among Egyptian police officers. The battle was the spark of the revolution that ended the monarchy in Egypt on July 23rd of the same year. A few months before the incident, the armed struggle against the British camps and soldiers culminated, resulting in huge losses. Suppliers abstained from providing food necessary to 80,000 British soldiers. The House of Representatives continues on Monday sessions dedicated to hearing statements by ministers on their ministries at plans as part of the government program. Minister of Manpower Mohamed Safen delivered a statement on his ministry's efforts as part of Egypt Kicks Off program which extends from 2018 to 2022. The MPs agreed to refer the statement to the Parliament's Manpower Committee to prepare a report. The Parliament is also to listen to Minister of Immigration and Expatriates Affairs, Nabila Makram. Egypt condemned on Monday a rocket attack that targeted the Saudi capital. The Saudi-led coalition fighting against Yemen's Houthi movement said on January 23rd that it had thwarted an attack by the Houthis towards the Saudi capital Riyadh. A foreign ministry statement said that Egypt supports Saudi Arabia in measures it takes to defend its land, preserve its security, protect its citizens and fight all kinds of terrorism. The E3 group of European powers, France, the United Kingdom and Germany, also condemned the attack in a joint statement on Monday. Since 2015, the Saudi-led coalition has been fighting the Iran-aligned Houthi movement, which has launched cross-border missile and drone attacks on Saudi cities.
Egypt reported on Sunday 674 new coronavirus infections, bringing the total number of cases to 126,497 people since the outbreak hit the country in mid-February. The health ministry also reported 57 new deaths, bringing the total number of fatalities to 8,959. The ministry added that the number of patients who were discharged from hospitals rose to 126,497.